Hey everyone, another video here. Um, this is actually gonna be on the engine cold air intake. I previously did a video on the k and I decided to switch back to factory. Um, I had this on pre-order, it finally shipped, and when it came in, I decided to um, go ahead and install it and see what the differences were. There were a couple design features that I really liked about the engine compared to the k and as far as different constraints, the amount of airflow that was coming in, um, certain areas, the way it connected to the turbo, um, but what we'll do today is just unbox it. Um, I'll show you how I installed it, and then we'll take a look and see the differences. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is disconnect this hardest, and we're gonna disconnect these. I'm gonna slide those off. I'm gonna pull that off to the side. Next, you're gonna detach the hose from the diverter valve is right here. I'm actually gonna, since I've already loosened this side, I think I'm gonna do this one because I did this side on the K&N, so it's already, should be already loose. Now we're gonna remove the three bolts that are holding the charge pipe. So we've got one, two, and then the third one, three. Now we're gonna remove this clamp. We're gonna remove this tube from the turbo down here. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a screwdriver, pull out this, should allow me to detach this pipe. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this clamp. Okay, and then we're gonna pull off this tubing. That releases that releases this whole piece here, okay? Now this whole piece is free to swing around. Now we're over on the side with the battery. Come down to the intake tube and you've got two lines that are coming here. You're just gonna press in, for instance, on this yellow piece, press in and pull these off. And you've got another red one here and you wanna pull this one off as well. So for me, the one that had the red tab was a little tricky. There's a white button on the bottom. So they want us to remove this pipe. So this pipe goes down here and then way down here. I don't know if we can get in there and see that. Yep, right down there is a screw on this side. And they say that we can access that through the wheel well. So I come down through here and you can see it right here. So this tube, we want to loosen this and then we'll be able to pull that out. All right, to get in there, I used a seven millimeter and a small socket. That was about the only thing I could find to make it easy. Once you get that loose, I'm gonna pull that tube out. All right, we got that tube out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this clamp right here, I'm gonna loosen that. This bolt, which is a 10 millimeter, I wanna loosen that. And this clamp, I'm gonna loosen that. And what we're gonna do is pull this tubing out. pulled that off. Now they want us to remove the bolt holding the driver's side intake tube that's attached to the engine. So when we come down in here, we're wanting to get that bolt right, let's see, let's see this, 
coming down right here, that bolt. That's what's holding this housing on. And it is a 5 16 and you may be able to reach it through the wheel well. I'm just gonna use a socket wrench and try to get in there and uh, loosen that up. Okay, so engine provides this tool in the kit. And the reason is you've got this where there's orange and black little fitting right here. You're gonna use this tool. You're gonna slide it over, line it up, and this is gonna allow you to take that part off. To get that piece off down here using that tool, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this clamp over here and pull this assembly up and off so it'll be easier to access. So I've already loosened that clamp. Now what I wanna do is just pull this off and I should be able to pull this whole assembly up, okay? And that'll help me get access to here. For this to work, you've got to line up these tabs so you see these two tabs? You're gonna to wanna to make sure this tool, there's two little tabs on the bottom of this. So what you're gonna do is line those up, press this in, and then you're gonna be able to pull this out. It'll kind of look like this, and then I'm gonna press that down into here. And when I do, I can pull this whole housing up and out. Now we're gonna remove this little clip, simply Try something under it. Pull that top one. You can pull that whole pin out. Now, we're also going to want to remove over here this little clip. Press right on this side. So I'm just going to kind of reach around, press down, and then you're going to pull that out. All right, we're gonna remove the bolt that's holding the air box to the chassis. So all you're gonna do is come over. Um, this is also a 5 16 So I just wanna remove that bolt. Okay. From the passenger side, we wanna come around and I wanna release this clamp, which attaches this air box. Before I swap this air box out, I wanna show you the difference. This is your stock. Look at the size difference between the engine and the stock. So we're gonna pull out this whole air box. What you're gonna do is make sure your wire's out of the way. There's one down here that you're gonna to wanna to pop out and disconnect. And we're just gonna reach underneath, lift up, and you'll feel it pop. And then you can pull this whole housing. You had one that was attached to here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you remove that one. We can pull this out now. Okay, on the passenger side, we need to remove this tube. We're gonna have to use a clamp. I'm basically gonna use channel locks to try to squeeze this clamp. Easiest way to get it is through under here. You can access down through the side. And then you also have a bolt that's on the bottom. It's gonna be hard to see, but there's a bolt. Sorry for the bad camera. There's a bolt that attaches right under here. See right here, you have to go up and under here and you'll feel it and it's a 10 millimeter bolt that we gotta remove. Here, what I'm gonna try to do is I need to squeeze this and this together. So I wanna bring those together, that'll release this. I can pull this pipe off the turbo. All right, so instead of channel locks, since I don't have somebody helping me, I just use these that allow me to lock it in a place. So once that's, those are gripped on, this becomes loose, then you can just slide this off of the turbo. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull this out. And these are the little vice grips that I use to keep tension on that. Okay, and we'll pull that out. Okay, now we're gonna pull out this grommet and I wanna take it off of the stock air box and we're gonna put it on over here on the engine. 
This is kind of cool. So this cutout right here, it's gonna go up against the side of the car, it'll be blocked. But in the event you do want to put a snorkel at some point, you will have that option. Uh, we're gonna put the engine air box in. So what you're gonna wanna do is line this up. You've got some little rubber grommets down in the bottom. I'm gonna make sure these drop down into there. And then we're gonna secure it to the sidewall over here with the factory bolt. Okay, so we dropped the air box into place. Now we're gonna put the bolt over here on the side to keep it locked in. Okay, we got the bolt going in through here, attached to the sidewall. Next, you're gonna put your push pin, put that back into place. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the filter, it says to slide it in, turn it a quarter turn to lock it into place. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tube, and take this little grommet that they said, this little rubber piece, and we're gonna place it on here using these tiny little screws that came in the pack. Okay, now we're gonna pull the sensor out. So I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise, and then we wanna pull that out of the grommet. Be careful with this piece. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to take your sensor, and it's gonna go right in here. And when it's finished, it should look like that. Now we're gonna take the two to three inch um, it's X3255. This is going to connect down on the turbo. So right there, we're going to put the small end and attach it with the clamp. Make sure you've got good access to this. And we're going to just hook that down, on down there. Now we're going to put this tube first into the hose on the turbo down there. And then we're going to connect this to the air box. So we've got it connected to the turbo. We've got it now connected, sorry for the sun, to this hose. Then we clamped it to the black hose. Now all we have to do is attach here to the air box and tighten this clamp. Next we need to take, this is the factory piece. We wanna take this rubber grommet out of here and I wanna put it on the new tube so here's the tube and i want to put that rubber grommet there and the way that it'll go will be just like that so the big piece on top okay so i've got that grommet out and now i'm just going to place it in there next we're going to take this and we're going to want to put this piece right here on that black Inlet. Next, we took the hump hose and connected these two. So I put the bracket on or the clamp on this side, one on this side, connected this to the piece that they provided. This will then connect down and drop into the little hose hump that we just put down here. So we've got that tube. Coming around, connected down here with the clamp. I connected the orange back to this top inlet, and then I also connect the yellow to this one. What we're also going to need to do is make sure we connect the orange to that piece right there. All right, we'll come over here. Now we're gonna connect the IAT sensor. So you just wanna come in and snap that back into place. Pull your wires around. We can go ahead and connect these. And we're gonna put these back into place. We're gonna connect our Viber mounts. We've got one right here in the front that we're gonna connect. Okay, I'm gonna screw that one down. And then I've got another one of these. They're gonna go right back here. 
So now we're going to install the driver's side charge pipe, which is going to connect down. I'll show you guys. Down there. So we're going to drop this back down onto that. We're going to connect this back to here. Okay, we dropped that tube in there. There's a little piece that sticks out and goes into that little rubber grommet. Connected our hoses back to this pipe. Now we're gonna connect this to here and this back into there. Don't forget to tighten this one though. And you're gonna probably have to tighten that through the wheel well. So make sure you tighten this right there. And again, I'm using a seven millimeter socket. Okay, again, we tighten that, drop that back into place and push those in. We hook this little, this pipe goes over that adapter that we put on. This one goes over that. We're gonna wanna reconnect this, which I'll put that in in a second. And then when you come over to this side, I'm gonna make sure we connect this tube back to the turbo down here. And we wanna tighten that clamp. I use the provided washers and nuts to secure this, both here and here. And then you're gonna wanna plug this, oops, this back in. And then you can connect these two back on to these screws. Use the factory bolt to secure back there. So here it is, finally installed. Um, definitely a more difficult install than the KNN. Uh, took a little bit more time, but overall I'm very happy. I um, feel like I'm definitely getting more airflow going to the turbos. All right, let's do one more sound test. Um, holding a little microphone. Try to get the cold air intake. 